What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. This time we're not actually at a game. We're in Fredericksburg, Virginia, but we're for the Home Run Derby X competition, which has former nationals like Gerardo Parra, Ian Desmond, Johnny Gomes, and also has Jake Arrieta in it as well. And what it is, is it's a competition with also uh, regular participants, as of just like normal people like you and me. And it's a team competition. Each one of the four MLB players has a team. And it's just like Home Run Derby. You have to hit as many home runs as you can as possible. But there's also a catch, is that while you're also hitting, there's also all the other participants are out in the field trying to catch any balls that don't fly out, and they get points for that as well. So it's a very, very interesting competition. It's kind of like an MLB promotional type thing that they've been doing. Uh, they've, I believe it started in London. They first did it in London, and they did it in a couple other places uh, overseas as well. But they're finally bringing it to the U.S. They just recently had one in Hartford, Connecticut, and now the next one is here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, which just so happens to be near me. So I'm super excited to see this event, see how it's going to go. I don't have a ticket to sit in the outfield because I didn't know if I was going to go to this event until literally last night when I bought the ticket and go to this morning. And it is now currently a sold out event. So I am here about two hours early so I can get the Brady House bobblehead because I really want that. That should be a very nice... Uh, Nice collectible item, his first bobblehead ever. Um, but yeah, should be a very fun event. I'll probably, I hope to be seen behind the dugout like in the first row or two. And goal is also to get some autographs. I hope to get Harada Par on a World Series ball, get Ian Desmond maybe. Arietta would also be a really cool one as well. So let's go stand in line. Let's get out of this steaming hot car of mine. Let's go get in line. Let's go get the bobblehead. Let's see what this event is about. So this is pretty cool as we walk in. You have Jake Arietta, Brian Schneider, Jessica Allo, Gerardo Perro is over there, and then Ian Desmond, Johnny Gilms are on the far side, shaking people's hands as they walk in. That's super cool. We are inside, we've got a bubble head, and I'm seeing right behind the Fred Nets dugout, hoping to get some guys, I think they'll be my best shot. I'm seeing across from where the Home Run Derby X will be taking place, as well. right in front of me, they'll be hitting balls out in the left field. And I think I'm in a decent spot. I think I'll be in a decent spot to either reach underneath the fence, get some of the sign, or be able to get to the corner that's right here and have some of the sign as well. It would be nice to get the guys as they walked in, but I'm not going to try that, and they probably would not do it. Either. So yeah, finally inside after a two-hour long wait to get in. It was hot. You know, my, my neck might be a little red. But yeah, finally inside. I do kind of need some food. I would like food and something to drink. But I'm going to wait a little bit before I do. It's our sport not just by smashing demons as you are used to at the normal home run derby, but also for the defense. You make a dash beyond those pylons out there in the outfield. That's a point on the defensive side as well. So this is something that comes with components for both the team at the plate and the team in the field. See those two orange pylons out there in dead center field? Anything that goes through that target zone is double, double points. Double points also come on five hot streak baseballs. The orange balls where those are thrown, those count for double points, with each of that being two minutes and 30 seconds. Once you pass half of that, you're back to four. Yes, it's a jaunty we had four amazing captains and legends yesterday who take part in recognizing uh, the contributions of all of our contestants who have a tryout day here at Curtin Freak and the part of this home run derby Texas. And here at the Freak, we had a lot of balls leave this yard yesterday in the sunshine and humidity. Let's take a look at yesterday's action and how we got to this point with all these contestants. I'm 
Next up for the Fundador is a player that's on top of the game in both baseball and softball. A representative for the United States Women's National Baseball Team, a Pan American Games champion, and a Division I softball star at Florida International University. One of the most exciting young talents in the country today. Please welcome Ashton Lansdale. And a local guy from Stafford, Virginia, Division I college ball player at Towson and James Madison, who once hit a home run as an off-season minor league in YT with the Red Sox organization. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the old Bengals door. As he tries to pull his team right back into this thing at the bottom of the first, and he leaves the yard entirely on hot streak home run number one. He's making up a lot of points quickly with these hot streak or balls. The hot streak bay balls are where the gaps narrow and grow, and we have already seen this thing whittle down to 20 plus points to just 10 with 22 seconds remaining. Desmond driving this one in the air to right. Lansdale giving chase, and Justin Arnold flying down the right field line. She will make the grab, but the target's on hit on the following one. So the deficit narrows to nine now. The final 10 seconds tip away for Ian Desmond, and he crushes one towards center field, and that's going to get out of here. And he follows with another, and the final swing of the attack will now result in a homer. But Ian Desmond tucks into the play and narrows the deficit to 10. This is his last street tall, and it looks like it's going to go. Maybe the target slowly it goes, but it's outside the target. Slicing toward that right field side. This is what heck of a start for Johnny Gomes. The sky is this time now. He's also down there for another catch and another point for the defense. So even though we have seen a bunch of home runs already leave the yard today for Johnny Gomes, there are two points on that other side as Gomes launches this one out of the target. 
zone and an extra two point hole. It gets straight out towards center field as he approaches from those extra points. And it's a 15 point first round already with 40 seconds left here in this opening AP. Seems like he's in rhythm. Don't need to tag him with his teammates. He's got this. That is one thing to keep in mind. A minute and 15 into each round, you can tag him with his teammates. seconds to try to make up an 18 point deficit for the Braves, and that is a good start. A deep drive to left center, out of the home run porch, Ian Desmond has his first of this round. This one has enough, and it can't be caught, so no points in the way. Ian gets this one way up to right center and out for another, and now here he goes. I thought I'm thinking about the hot streak here. Ian Desmond has got it going. That's three or four holders in a row, and that's another bomb. That one might leave the whole stadium, and it does. He is put on a show already, down to a 13 point deficit now. Five homers so far for Ian Desmond, just 40 seconds in. But has not used his hot streak balls yet, and that one is driven to center, and now here he goes. The hot streak ball. Five swings with double points, both the offense and defense. Nothing on that one, but the lead is just 11 for the Indodores. This one is out to right center, so that's two points for the Freddies. This one way out to left center. Where's that one going to land out of the park? How will be Ian Desmond? An 18-point deficit is now a five-point deficit. He's only halfway through his round. You're talking about the amount of souvenirs that fans are going to come away with uh, out there beyond the home run course. There's also going to be a lot of balls that are landing out of the ballpark tonight as we're starting to learn. Critters out in the woods and take all the juice. This is impressive. The stadium. And there you go. And he's just giving the praise the lead here in the bottom of the second row. Look at him go! World champion Ian Destin's putting on a show here in Fredericksburg. Freddy's now up by two with still lots of time to go. That's heading to the target zone. Just missed the target zone, I think, but still a bomb for Ian Destin. Now with 30 seconds to go, he's really got to find this last gear here. This is one of the most impressive rounds that we have seen in London and Hartford and out here in Frederick. His home run derby X debut is an awesome one for Desmond. That one can't help it out. Ten seconds to go. Does he have a couple more in on the five? That one I think has enough to go as Johnny looks up and watches it. Why? How about Ian Desmond? First round is over. To put it straightly, Ian Desmond's team single-handedly won the first round against Johnny Gomes. And Johnny Gomes is out. Ian Desmond's team will move on. And now it's up to Jake Arrieta and Gerardo Parro's team to take the field next. This is a beyond entertaining event. That is for sure. I'm very entertained. I do wish I was in the outfield because I'm sorry, but if anyone's here is watching the outfield, none of you guys can catch. You guys all need to be late for the back. Give it up for Ashton Abrams. Team a chance for the time being. This is a very entertaining event. I wish I was in the outfield, but this is really cool. And this is a very cool thing that Luke is doing. And he does this just a lot of money. That looks like it's still alive. Catch out of two points on the kick, but those are immediately erased by a ball blasted through the target zone. A four point homer there. To a 10 point game at 22 to 12. I don't think she's tagging anybody in. She's going all the way here. Just about 40 seconds to go. Four home runs already here in this bottom of the first inning. And another ball that's crushed with authority toward right field and is in pursuit. That ball that did hit the foul pole, I believe. 
Ice just to get foul side off of it. So final 20 seconds now approaching. And another ball driven that direction. That thing's going to get out of here. But that also sliced just foul. So that's, I think, three or yeah. four foul home runs. Close yeah. so She's got 10 seconds to go. Final 10 taken away for Jocelyn Allen. Who catches the ball to that center field. And that's going to get way out of here. Off the home run port side. One more swing coming, and Jocelyn Allen will finish off Matt Miner into the catch zone. What an impressive first round for the Chuck and Georges. That's given up for the NCAA softball career home run leader, Jocelyn Allen. Calls for the high street baseballs inside of 45 seconds left, and he obliterates one toward the light tower and right center and way out of here. So another two-point homer on the hot street baseball. Gus was creeping up on 10 points now with a 9-3 lead and 30 seconds to go. Hot shot, one and drive. That's going to sneak out for the first row of seats in the home run court. And as the hot street balls wind down, Gus was up over 10 with a 3 lead. 15 seconds left, and Arietta sets another one way out over the target zone and everything else. It's gone, and it's a 10-point lead now at 13-3. Final five seconds. Seconds up coming. Another home run will touch down and one more swing for Hacks as that ball is blasted towards center, straight through the target zone and gone. And it adds two more and Gus Bus with an impressive first round to get this thing under rest. This speaker is so loud. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jennifer Puccini and National Slanted Dave and we're going to get to see Ian Desmond in the second speakers on high. But as he takes it to the top. Ian Desmond covers Jake Arietta team in the finals. That is the first round. This final is the first round. But after that swing. 24 points for Jake Arietta team. And 17 for Ian Desmond's team. This is going to get very interesting. It's a little loud right now, but I just got the guy I wanted. Geraldo Mara. I'm so thrilled to get it. I was able to call him over. He was the first person that he signed for on a 2019 World Series ball. That made the day. That was awesome. Super nice. Back up the middle, and he's going to call for the hot street baseballs right here and try to make up some ground. Over some ground right here, looking for those four pointers. Let's see that first shot go over there, Obos. They come back, It's like flipping a switch. You get the pitches in the right spot, you start feeling that swing again, and all of a sudden, this deficit has been shot down to 13. And Obos going to say foul, but he follows it with another one drive. Straight back over the middle, just to the left field side of the target zone, but it adds to the margin for the Freddies who put this thing down to the left. Putting that lead down, yeah, you'd like to get a couple more if you can get 15, more than 15, keep them in the game. There's a sky high shot out to right. Klingler's able to get under that one and make it catch. So another catch point for Gus Bus, but this thing, nobody's going to grab it. That's way out of here toward right. And it is Shan. Great finish. And one more. Straight through the target zone on back to back blast. Four points on his last two swings. And Ian Desmond has taken this thing all the way down to a seven point deficit after the number one. Trousel with a catch out in right. 52, 46, 40 seconds to go. Double pop back foul, our direction. As Morgan lost one high in the air out towards center. Pacini and Desmond in the pursuit. Desmond's there to make a catch. And the lead is back down to five. 27 seconds to go. Another drive toward left field. Desmond, who played so much outfield in his career, is there to make the grab. And the Freddies are right on target now. Four points down. But Gus Plus adds another one over on the right field. 10 seconds, we gotta go. Let's get excited right here. 10 seconds left. 
out toward left, Desmond in pursuit once more, leaping, couldn't bring it in, and a home run will be follow. So that extends the lead to six. This one might get it to seven, and it will. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for Jonathan Morgan. Nine homers for Charlie. Rally his team from a seven-point deficit, and he may have home run number one as he clobbers this one the other way, and it's gone. Six-point gap now. The liner out to left field, and that's off the glove. No catch there, so it remains a six-point deficit, and Alex is immediately going to go for the hot streak ball. You know? That one does not sneak out in center, so it stays at 55-49. First 30 seconds gone. That ball obliterated out toward right field, but that's going to be foul. As Rousseau now on the line will sneak this one out of the home run court, and it's a four-point game. High in the air, this will not get to the catch zone, so no trouble there for Rousseau as the hot streak baseballs wind out, and it remains a four-point deficit. Maybe it is the steamer right here, folks. 55-51, 90 seconds to go for Alex Rousseau. A high fly ball out toward right field, back pedaling at the wall, leaping. That one didn't get out, but this one should, and it will. Three points separating these two teams now, 55-52. Keep that so key here as well. The last minute they took the dust bus home, I'm doing for Jay. It's all up to him right here for the catch. Oh. And that one didn't sneak out either, so still, and no, it did. That did get over that over the line. So 55-53, team takes the victory over Jake Arrieta's. Uh, great ending to it as well. Really, really, really cool event. I'm going to try to get a few more autographs here. Here at the end. Hoping to get Arietta, that'd be cool. Maybe Desmond will sign a couple after he just won. I think he may. But there's quite a few kids running down here. But I got myself in the front row. The netting here at Fredericksburg is a little tough, but I can get a ball underneath here if I can. My book makes it fine. But we'll see what we can get here at the end. Almost forgot the outro video. So fireworks went off. The video that you saw there at the end is that obviously they have the normal white baseballs that they hit out and then they have the orange ones that are bonus balls that count as two home runs if they're hit out. Well, during it, if anyone caught an orange ball during the event, they got to come down to the field after the derby was over and get the ball signed, which is which I thought was really cool. Um, so I waited through the fireworks, then they did the signing, and then everyone came up and had their orange baseball signed, and I waited for some of the guys to come up afterwards. I didn't need Johnny Gomes. Parra didn't sign for anybody, so I'm glad I got him when I did. Um, Jake Arrieta just walked off after he was done signing. I was really hoping to get him. But the home run derby champion, Ian Desmond, was kind enough, and he came over and signed a card for me at the end. So, all in all, very much worth it. Johnny Gomes signed four cards, Parra signed a ball, and Desmond signed a card. So, overall, I'm very happy with how the trip went. It is almost 9.20. I'm sorry, not 9.20. This is how you know I'm getting tired. It's 10.20. I have an hour drive to get back. Uh, I know that my mouth, compared to where the sound is, is lagging. So, I'm going to leave that as it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of what the Home Run Derby X is like. And we'll see if I even come out with another video for the rest of the year. Because I have a very busy work schedule ahead of me.
If not, I'll find something else to record. Anyway, guys, have a good rest of your night, and God bless.